it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that but it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the Destroyer. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Wise. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. Whoa! advantage and he saw it right there with that punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh! Flush right hand is true. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Dana White. 
big cut lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in this. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Went inside on that leg kick, threw the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Shot to the body here, blocked by UFC President Dana White. Oh, collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Boom. Hook shot lands. Oh, just open it up on him now. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Ten seconds, let's go, baby. Ten just misses there with the left. And he landed the right hand there. Pretty good straight punch there by Dana White. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You got clipped. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Good stick. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Straight right hand, no good. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Single collar tie now. A big elbow there. Oh, straight right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big punch land. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, big punch lands. Head kick lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Oh, oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, oh. Now his opponent's 
really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Trying to stay in this fight! And they set oh. oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Check the high kick. Oh, spinning breakfast. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. How about that shin? Just reached the midpoint of the fight. That was a nice strike. Outstanding placement as he lands the ball. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Real quick leg kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. South position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, side control now. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Close guard. Dana White gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh! Ten seconds to go. Beautiful punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, 
he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier round. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Ooh, what a punch. Under two minutes to go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Dana White's pass attempt denied. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, nice job for staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Throws the right hand there. You gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Are you ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. All right, well, time is the enemy now. Oh, he's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but oh, connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Ooh. Oh. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! All right, he's 
trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The ground and pound has been there all night. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. <laughs> 15 seconds. So a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-25. For the winner by unanimous decision, Dana Live. Right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments. He was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.